What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, I've got another, <laughs> and you won't be surprised, another inconsistency with the base of Mount Sharp. And what I mean by Mount Sharp is I mean the actual lake or riverbed that they've been talking about. Now, I know a lot of you guys have heard this. They're talking about there's some kind of, uh, this is what the uh, Curiosity Rover is going to try to go through because it's supposed to be dunes and uh, some dried up riverbed pots or lake bed or whatever. And it's supposed to be, make its way through there and up the mountain. Okay. This is the picture that I'm going to be working on. This is the one you get. Now, this is the the, the latest one out. This is a 569 Sol. So Sol 69, uh, 569. Um, and this is the area I'm talking about right here. Now, this runs all along the very base of this so-called mountain. And you know how I feel about this mountain. Um so I found a big inconsistency with it. And this is where you can get it. So you guys will know I'm not full of it here. I'm not making this up. It's right here. And this is the picture you get. Okay. This is what I have a problem with. First of all, well, I have a problem with the whole thing because I even said at one point it seemed like this is a template because you could take this rover and face it and they've got pictures lately. In fact, uh, recent solves where it shows it like literally facing this mountain and you can see the top of it first off and it doesn't look like it's even that far off. Um, but, you know, again, it's like, it seems like the foreground or this side of the area or this right in front of the rover, it, it's like the landscape changes every, almost every other picture. So it doesn't make any sense to me. It's either, either this is some kind of weird template or they're just messing with stuff, both this wannabe mountain and this foreground. I don't know what they're doing. And somehow all of a sudden they're on the, if the other part was the South or Southeast, okay, then this would be the Southwest part. Or almost the north. Or the north would actually be back here. Uh, now, guys, don't get me wrong here. I'm, Mount Shop does exist. There's no doubt about that. But I don't believe this is the mountain in question. I don't think it is the mountain. I think it's a bunch of BS. Um, this right here, this is... And this runs all along... Again, it's supposed to be some kind of dried up uh, leg bed. Now, first thing you think of a dried up leg bed is what? I think of it as, okay, if I was to walk up to a dried up river bed or lake bed, it would be... You know, it depends on how recent, of course... But let's say it just dried up in a week ago. Well, it's still going to be muddy, smooth, and you'll have some sediment, like some rocks, some small stones, and so on and so forth. Makes sense. Now, if it's completely dry and it's been like the Sahara Desert, well, then it's going to be cracked on the ground and everything else. It's, you know, it'll be like that spider web effect kind of thing going across the ground. Okay. But in this picture, there's an inconsistency. First of all, and I'm going to just zoom in real quick. I see an object, and I don't know what it is, but anyway, it's an object right here. Now... The object is sitting right here. It's kind of faint, but why does it look like it's light under it? Just like as in the ground. This is the question. I mean, I don't really have too much in here to show you, but what I'm going to show you is I, I need your feedback on this because this is... Now, to me, this is either a top of a structure or structures, or it's a broken up roadway. Now, I've said it looks like there's a roadway up here, but I believe there's one maybe down here too. And... Although it looks like this dried up leg bed, I'm going to show you this thing and you guys can give me your honest opinion. I mean, to be honest with you, I, I right off the bat when I seen this right here, this little whatever this is, I mean, it looks like part of another rock or whatever it is. Okay. Um, but it's lit up under it. Just like this here, it should be, if this is some kind of weird outcropping or whatever, then it would be darker under it, wouldn't it? It'd be shadowed. Okay. So that tells me right off the bat, okay, this is either a negative or it's an inversion Either way, the pitch is inverted somehow, some way. So let me just jump right into that. And I'm going to show you guys what I did. First of all, I got a bunch. You can see like a bunch of shop. And I use a shopping tool, which is right here on your left. There's a little triangle. Um, you can see a shopping tool. And what you do is once you click on it, there'll be a circle. And then you just kind of just do this and shopping it up. But what I did is I'm going to show you how, first of all, this looks awful when you first see it. Watch this. Yeah, I did it right here. Now I'm going to go all the way down to where I stopped here. And you're going to go, wow, why would you do that? Well, here's the, here's the thing. And I'm actually showing you guys these little tips. This way here, you could do this yourself if you're using Photoshop and or something similar to it, like GIMP 2.8 or something like that. But um, you can shop in this stuff up yourself or just do a whole shopping. But when you see this, you don't see too many like details, like shopper details per se. So when you do that, and you can pay attention to any part of this up in here in the upper you know, right corner. Now, when you do this, okay, you go, well, I don't, it just looks like a mess. All right, now you blur it up. Now you can start to see, okay, it's not as bad as it was, and you can see more detail. Okay, now this is that part I was telling you about, and I'll smooth this out a little bit better. So 
This is the pot in question right here. And there's that thing that's like black on the top but light on the bottom. Does that make sense? Uh, no. It just It's right there. And you can keep your eyes right there while I readjust to go back to it. And then blur. It's dark and then lighter at the bottom. That's Again, that's why I think this has been inverted. Okay. Now I'm going to back out a little bit. And I'm going to invert it. Okay. Now this is the pot in question right here. Why does that look like either A, a broken up road, or B, some kind of structure, or top of a structure? Okay, I'm going to back up just a hair. Okay, this is another thing that actually blows my mind right here. It's smooth, and it, has an, it, it curves downward, and has this other pot right here that's coming down. Now I'm going to hit the exposure, bring it down a bit, and now you can see what looks like this weird road kind of thing going down down this way here, watch this, from from right to left, and then of course it's all manipulated so you don't know what the heck is down here, it's all been manipulated bad, um, but there's another thing I wanted to show you guys too, and it's just something small, but I want to show you this up at the top here, look at this, it looks like a pipe of some sort, it goes all the way up, and then of course it goes to the top of the picture, but it comes all the way down here, comes down, and then terminates right here, it looks like you can see like a round dark circle in it, okay, you see it right there? Round goes all the way up, but there's also something else behind it. It looks like a bunch of things that are trailing behind each other right here. Now, if you guys really want to see what's at the on this mountain, especially on this left side of it or southwest pot, call it what you want. Um, heck, for all I know, that could be the north pot, but let's call it the southwest for argument's sake. Right here on this edge, and all in this pit, go to my mount shop, not what you think it is series. There's a three pot, I think they're sort of lengthy to like a half hour but it'd be well worth it to you guys because it'll give you a totally different view of this mountain and well what it's not it has crazy things in this thing i think even i don't remember if it's pot one or three but you can watch all three of them and things change from just from from picture to picture to picture from sol to sol to sol when you look at this thing you're just gonna go what is going on it's just, I mean, it looks like there's like tunnels and vehicles or these weird, one look like a missile tank or some kind of weird thing, but they clearly look like tunnels with vehicles in them. And it looks like there's structures all over this thing. And when you see this, you're just going to go, this doesn't make sense. And I agree. It totally doesn't. Um, but just check that out because this doesn't show you really squat as far as what's going on here. But this to me is the most important thing, although small, it's important. Now I'm going to expose this and bring this down. Okay, look at the way this is cracked right here, and it looks like this on this side, the layer is going off of it. Then there's another layer right here going around, and then there's another one below it. Now, if you guys go to any city, or, you know, that's been, like, has Todd Roads and so on and so forth, if you was to dig that up, chances are you're going to hit cobblestone or regular brick. Like back from the 20s and 30s, when they started to have a horse and buggy, then, you know, uh, you know the antique cars and so on and so forth. You will see layers of road, road and they just, just go over it. Even a lot of cities today, they just, if the road's kind of, eh, kind of not too great and not smooth anymore, they'll just go over it with another layer of tar, you know, and then so on and so forth. So this wouldn't be out of the question as far as that goes. Um and so here's the part, too, that, like I said, it just seems like it's like a top of a building or a roadway along this. But this is what kind of blew my mind, because look at the way this is nice and smooth. Comes down, boom, and then right here. Now I'm going to go back to the regular picture, and you can see it right there. It's just black, and it just stops right there, and there's, there's, that, there's that little part right there. Now watch this. Just by smooth, you know, sharpening up, you can see it right here. See that? And it comes right down, and there it is. Blur it up. You can see the angle coming right down. I'm going to jump right in. Right there. But it's lit up underneath and dock on the top. That's why I said this has been inverted. Same thing with this one on the left, that little whatever that is. So now you can see this right here, but it's light under this and dock on the top. Yeah, come on. Perfect line coming down. Nice, completely straight coming down. Has this angle to it and going down. This to me is nothing but fudged out area. Maybe the whole actual whatever this thing is actually sitting there, whatever it is. It's roadway, building, call it what you will. I don't care what it is, but it's being hidden. And it's, and it's not what you think it is. And like I said, now you can see that pot right there. It's just too smooth, man. This is supposed to be a dried up lake and riverbed. Or, uh, you know, whatever it may be is they're, what they're calling it. Now blur it up. And like I said, now I want to throw a little color into it, guys. 
because sometimes it actually brings up some other different parts of it. I mean, is it possible? I mean, heck, this could be a car for all we know, just like off the side of the road. Or it's just a, you know, another part of a machinery, call it what you will. But like I said, you can see that what looks like that weird pipe thing right here going all the way up the length of this, this picture. And then, of course, it goes out. But this has been manipulated so bad, guys. It's, it's, it's really sad. There's something else sitting right here. Looks like it has these weird dock openings. And there's something right here in the back. This is supposed to be that mountain, of course. Uh, right there, there's supposed to be the ridge. Um, and like I said, we can do this here and then smooth it out. But this is supposed to be the ridge, the other uh, Gale Crater Ridge. Yeah. And then bring it down and then throw some color in. But there's some crazy stuff. Like this right here, this is not... Look at this way this has like some kind of weird piping coming out of it. Some kind of round thing. There's like almost like two round things right here. Look at this. And I don't know what these are, but right here and something in the middle of it. Something right there. There's some kind of weird design or something right there. But look at the way this, this comes down, comes off. And if you look at that picture the way it is normally... Well, let's just get the color out. I'm going to go back to the traditional or the start picture. And you can see there's some kind of things that are blurred out of it. I mean, they're just really badly blurred. But this is not a mountain either. This is something else. I don't know what that is. I couldn't tell you. But it's clearly... You can see something right there. Here's that round circle and so on and so forth. Okay, so after inverting it, you can see more parts that look like it's more intricate details. Right there. And just it just has a whole, more, a whole lot more, I should say, details and stuff on it. Now... Again, I couldn't tell you what this stuff is, but it's there. This is what I think is either A, a top of a, a building of some sort, or multiple buildings, or it's a roadway of some sort. Now, you, of course, you guys can give me your take on this, you know, because I, I, I don't know what this stuff is, but it looks like some kind of weird road or structure. There's too much, it's too straight and too much of a sharp edge to believe it's, you know, it's anything that's shale or some kind of, you know, uh, layering of rock. I don't believe that. And there's some other things on the top here. And there's something right in front of this thing. That's why I said if this was a road, perhaps that's maybe a car off to the side of the road. But but there's something right here. See, it's like got this weird squared off arch kind of thing. But there's something right there. And it's pretty much in front of that. But for whatever that is, I mean, guys, tell me what you think it is. It's just, it's just a quick video. I just wanted to show you what that... This is, again, this is supposed to be a dried up riverbed or lake bed. I'm not seeing it. You know, to me, it'd be a smooth, muddy kind of ground. And even if it was dried up after a course of time, okay. And then it'd be all cracked and, like, disintegrated and be in chunks and rocks or just broken up pieces of ground. Wouldn't look like that. That's for sure. And it sure in heck wouldn't have a smooth curvature like that in the ground like that there with this coming down. Again, guys, you know how I feel about this. I mean, they, they're hiding so much in this picture and, and around this wannabe mountain. And I don't believe this is even the mountain at all. Um, again, I'm not saying it don't exist, but I don't believe this is the actual mountain. I think this may be a small hill or maybe a small pot of it, but I don't believe this is the actual mountain itself. Um, you look at any aerial photograph that they show, it's absolutely humongous. This thing is like a, it's like a flea on a buffalo's rear end, and this, this rover to this mountain, and yet you can see the whole mountain in this picture. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just, you know proportion between the actual rover and the mountain is just none of it is it's it's all cons inconsistencies that's all but give me your take on this thing is this a ground is it some kind of weird building a lot of this to me is like is is fudged out meaning this all this layer has been added to actually uh, cover what this really is in other words this may come down over here it might be some big structure or a part of a road and you'd never know because they use this fudging or they f they fluff out this area to just really just kind of Fill it in. It's just fill. And they just call, uh, fill all of this in to make it look like it's just the ground. But I don't know. I, I don't see it as a riverbed. That's one thing I don't see it as. But you guys give me a take on it. Just a quick one. Just wanted to let you guys see that. Just a little observation I made. This is the, Like I said, this is the latest Sol 569. And I just figured I'd jump on this and show you this. from. Look at this area from here. How it looks layered out. And, and like I said, nice and... Nice, crisp, you know, uh, details to the standard picture. And what the hell? I mean, again, you can see that light under there when it should be actually dock area. And this should be dock under this. But yet it's just the opposite. That's why I read off the bat, I, it caught my eye. And I just wanted to bring that to you guys. So give me your take on it. Something small. But nonetheless, it's an observation that, you know, it simply doesn't strike me as a river or a lake bed. 
And, you know, I think all of these, like I said before, they're not here for no leg beds. They're not here for no uh, crap like that. They're actually inspecting what's left over from this ancient civilization or the civilization that lived here. And there, it, it was probably totally destroyed, decimated from whatever catastrophic event happened. So I believe that's what they're seeing, what's left over. Anyway, guys, give me your take on it. As always, it's appreciated. And uh, I love to get your take on it. Um, we're all over these recent pitches, and we're going to... Uh, find some more stuff because i mean i've got loaded stuff still in my uh uh my external hard drive here so we're definitely going to be jumping into this you know i'm kind of bouncing off i'm doing things outside on the house and around the house so on and so forth when the weather's nice and mother nature's cooperating but we're also trying to stay on top of these for you guys too so with that guys i'm gonna let you go i have a good day it's supposed to be pretty decent out today for at least for us it's supposed to be around 60 so i'm i'll take that anytime um and uh like i said i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you guys next pick